Do you still remember what I taught you? Hey everyone, Tomias here and welcome to another Wuthering Waves video. That's right, the official promotional video for Chen Li is now available on the Wuthering Waves site. But uh, in this video, we'll react to you and also provide you with some information that you may have missed in the PV because uh, you were distracted. That's right, did you know in this scene, they are playing Wei Qi, an ancient Chinese board game that two players play against each other involving strategies and surrounding the enemy pieces to take them. Now... Of course, this can allude to the current Jingzhou situation is often used as a parallel to armies fighting each other, for example. But most of us, rightfully so, are being distracted by some of the biggest assets I have seen. This top tier quality character model is just way too distracting. So I don't blame you for missing what's going on and the messages behind this. And that's what I'm here for, basically telling you guys the hidden meanings behind the yes. promotional video. To break a stalemate. And the stalemate here again is alluding First to the Jingzhou Jingle situation. And now, then adapt accordingly. the artistic director has uh, shifted the camera angle, making Cheng Li look even bigger in this scene. Okay, and this is a callback to how big Cheng Li's assets are. So, very, very crucial information. And this is a reference to when Seng Hua was sent to observe the scar fight to make sure that nothing Second, goes wrong. Always act to seize the initiative. And again, the distraction is upon us them, as they're talking about something else. And this something else is when Cheng Li actually helped Jing Shi plan against the attack against Scar right there. Make sure we capture him. Okay, so don't get distracted. Focus, guys, focus. There's lots of hidden meanings and messages behind this. And this is Chen Li right here, in a cloaked figure. And we've got uh, <laughs> we've got some NPCs chasing him. Now, count them. There's one, two, okay? Later on you'll see number three and number four. There are four of them. The message they're trying to send here is that, you know what? At surface, you might see that Chen Li is being surrounded by four different people. But the second layer of this meeting is that uh, Cheng Li actually has the four players surrounded instead. And the four players here, or the four NPCs here, can be interpreted as uh, four multis. If you're going to challenge the Cheng Li banner with just four multis, that is not enough. That is not enough, so be prepared to open your wallet. Because she is going to crush your multis that you have saved up there we go that's your multi from version 1.0 and boom that's the version 1.1 event multis gone gone okay and that's your last multi saved up from the login event and there we go it's all finished and your wallets your bills have now been reduced to cinders, as they say in the promotional video. And watch the final ending. If you open your wallet, then victory will be yours. So make sure you save your multis, you save up whatever Google points you have to try to secure her. Jinjo finds itself in a complex web. What would you do, teacher? Okay, and again here. Okay, for those of you at this scene that are being distracted by the humongous top-down assets here, I don't blame you. But you can take a look, okay, and Chen Li here is on the white side, and Jing Xin here is using the black pieces. Can you tell who is winning? Or who has who surrounded? It's a pretty even match at the moment, right now, okay? So it seems like Chen Li has taught Jingxi very, very well, and she is managing to hold her own. So again, key information is just being taken away from you because you were watching something else. Don't you? And as for the most critical move, it's already been made. Isn't that right, Rover? And the last comment, the critical move has already made by Rover, is basically saying that you have already decided to pull for me. So uh, that is the most important decision because, goddamn, look at this character. I mean, Cheng Li 
I'll make a guide for her, the pre-analysis guide and also the post-release guide in terms of her meta relevance. But wow, she looks so damn good. When I first saw her in the testing part, um, I mean, oh my god, that top-down view. I was blown away about um, how beautiful she looks and the character design and her attack animation. I mean, there is just no way around it. I think she's a must-pull from the animations alone. I mean, game is, I would say easy enough at the moment right the towers of the adversity is pretty straightforward even free to play players get clear if you max level your characters and whatnot so uh it's basically using your favorite characters and just look at the animation especially the resonance liberation and the small detail that goes through it because as you gain stacks from the uh, true sight mm, attacks your clothes start to burn. This is the character that actually loses clothes as you gain more stacks. And of course, the last stacks gives her the blindfold. This is peak design. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't think any other characters has that much of visual change available to them as part of their kit, basically. So um, personally, again, wait for the uh, guides if you're looking for meta versus, you know, future viability. But to me personally... This character is a must pull, and I've got some pulls saved up, so we will definitely, definitely be going for Chang Li. Anyhow, I think uh, this this joke of a video has been going on long enough. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and uh, the pre-announced video will be coming up soon. All right, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.